No, fortunately she doesn't react in pain when I touch her anywhere. The teenager who kept her owned a number of other rabbits, but only Daisy has these problems. Since she came in, she hasn't had any interest in eating, even though she's drooling a lot. I've also noticed her stools have been watery. That doesn't look good. I knew it! That's good news! That's much better now, isn't it? I'm on it, Doctor. Daisy here hadn't been able to grind down her teeth like other rabbits. Rabbit's teeth will continue to grow unless they have access to wood or toys to gnaw on. We call the condition slobbers because rabbits with long teeth aren't able to close their mouths. Those sharp teeth could have caused infections, and she already lost weight due to difficulty eating. The fluids you gave her should help her with the diarrhea, and now that her teeth are manageable, she can start eating normally. If only Daisy's former owner had prevented this problem by giving her chew toys. I can't fault your diagnosis. Good job! You asked all the right questions. Good. Your treatment of this case was perfect. You asked all the right questions. Good job! Your treatment of this case was perfect. Doctor, Sunshine has collapsed and is having trouble breathing. We should look at her now. No way. Kevin and I make sure that all of our patients are always in a safe environment. Not to our knowledge. As you may recall, she was found wandering around the park, so she probably didn't have any other medications. I was checking on her after your examination when she started to drool. She vomited, then became very weak and fell on her side. Poor thing, she looks horrible. Definitely not a positive sign. Does this reading tell you anything? It's a pleasure working for someone who knows what they're doing. You seem to get what's going on here. I'll mark down these vitals. Not good. You're absolutely right. I just want to be sure. Which medication should I be administering? I can already see her perk up. Fluids administered. Now we have one less thing to worry about. Sunshine had a severe allergic reaction to a vaccine administered during the wellness exam and went into anaphylactic shock. If left untreated, she could have gone into a coma or died. If we'd known about her allergy, we could have given Sunshine Benadryl before the vaccination or not administered it at all. But she was astray, so you definitely did the right thing. She'll have to remain near the clinic in case of any other problems. I agree with your diagnosis. You clearly understood this case. I'm pleased. You knew to ask all the right questions. Your treatment of this case was wonderful, and I'm sure your patient appreciates it. No, he eats well and likes his head to be scratched. He's very playful. A couple took him in when his owner went overseas. Unfortunately, the couple worked a lot, and they left Admiral alone a lot with the family dog. No, the couple really didn't know how to take care of him, which is why they brought him here. So far, so good. Does everything seem normal? Could you explain that reading to me? I'd say this patient's pretty vital. <laughs> he did that to himself? What does that tell you? That'll help it heal. Meds time! Okay, which one do I give? Now we don't have to worry about infection. Self-mutilation in the form of feather picking is a common behavioral disorder in parrots that results from boredom. Admiral needs a variety of toys 
as well as the company of friends to keep him entertained. Otherwise, he'll continue to pick out his feathers. Fortunately, you stop the infection with those antibiotics, and his physical wounds will heal. Time and a lot of attention will heal the rest. I can't fault your diagnosis. Good job! Quite insightful. You had all the right questions. Your treatment of this case was perfect. She looks like she has recovered. What's the meaning of this reading, Doctor? I agree with you wholeheartedly. I have a strong pulse reading here. Should I be concerned about this reading? That's good news! No, she's been eating normally and hasn't had any trouble keeping the food down. <laughs> yes, she has quite a healthy appetite. Not at all. She's been acting playful and curious, just like a kitten should. Although you treated her immediately when she went into anaphylactic shock the first time, she could have relapsed into shock again. Fortunately, you and the vet techs kept an eye on her and she seems out of the woods. With a clean bill of health, she can move on to the enrichment center. Your diagnosis matches mine. I'm pleased. You knew to ask all the right questions. You did an excellent job looking after that animal. Joni, the enrichment specialist, and I'm here to show you how to help with the enrichment needs of our patients. Since your workday is already very busy, I won't assign too many animals to you. Don't worry. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just here to watch. Imagine me, Joni Fullen, giving out tasks to a full-blown doctor. Don't I feel important? <laughs> well, that's enough standing around. Let's get to the hands-on part of the learning. Okay. It's important to have friendly and socialized animals. The animals are really responding to your attention. That's one friendly pet. You're doing a great job at socialization. The animals love playing with you. I can tell how much he loves playing with you. He is so lovable. The animals are really responding to your attention. You're doing a great job at socialization. I can tell how much he loves playing with you. The animals love playing with you. can be a lot of fun. He's got it now. Way to go! You're doing a great job of training him. What a great move! That's a step in the right direction. You're one great trainer. Animals love learning new tricks. Especially if the treats taste good. You're really good at training. You're really good at training. Wow, I can see the improvement. Looks like progress to me. Wow, I can see the improvement. Getting wet is part of the job. I can see the effort you put into your grooming. He looks great. Wow, what a great job you did. That fur looks 
fabulous. I can see the effort you put into your grooming. He looks great. Great grooming. That coat really shines. Nice and clean. You take such good care of the animals. Wow, what a great job you did. That fur looks fabulous. Nice and clean. You take such good care of the animals. Training stimulates an animal's mind. Doctor, I must say that you're a natural with the animals. I know that both you and the patients will have a great time with enrichment. Remember to enrich your patients as much as possible. It makes it so much easier to find them the perfect home. Bye for now. Hi, Doc. It's finally adoption day, my favorite day at the shelter. This is the day that all our pet pals get to find that perfect family to go home with. Just listen to the crowds of people here, ready to adopt our furry and feathered friends. Psst! We just have to make sure that our animal friends go home with the right people, capiche? Well, I just know you'll do a great job, Doctor. If you enrich the Admiral enough, it'll be easy to adopt him out to the right home. Well, it's time to start! I'm ready when you are, Doc. News. The animal that you adopted out just left with a caring family. With all your hard work, you deserve a promotion. I just need to ask you a few questions, but don't worry, I'm sure you'll do great. well on the quiz. If you like, you can take it again or I can promote you right now. <laughs> 